paper. But there also is a whale. Is a whale. about how to get an hourglass figure and the secret is waist trainers and skinny tees you guys couldn't tell that was a joke if that was a joke do not buy a waist trainer and wear them and do not do skinny tees they will damage your organs and your insides so no and I'll do it in a healthy and safe way so basically I'm going to tell you how. So a lot of it is actually to do with genetics. So some people just have a straighter body type. But there are also ways you can enhance your body shape. To look like an hourglass figure. Or else if you already kind of have that shape. You can enhance it more. So an hourglass figure is basically when your upper body and lower body is bigger than your waist. So it's like an hourglass shape. And that's what a lot of people want nowadays. But... How do you achieve that when you don't already have it? Um, genetics is going to be a huge part of this. Your body isn't genetically built that way. It's a lot harder to get and some people cannot get that. You're going to want to train your upper body and lower body and slim your weight. So you can do this through weight training. So I see a lot of people like going to the gym doing a load of cardio and then doing a few butt exercises afterwards thinking it's going to make the butt bigger. It's not. It might tone muscles that are already there. But in order to grow muscles, you need to be eating calorie surplus. So the way you can figure out how much your body needs a day, I use this um, thing online. It's called IIFYM. I'll just get it here. So this is if it fits your macros. Um, that means eating a certain amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fat every day but you don't need to do this the website is still okay just to figure out the calories you don't need to pay any attention to the macros part so this is the website here so you can just go into IAFYM then calculators then the first the first one IAFYM calculator and then here you can just key in like your gender, your weight, your height, and it will tell you the calories that you're meant to be eating every day for maintenance and then for surplus. So generally it's about two or three hundred calories over your maintenance weight in order to grow to grow muscle. So a lot a lot of people are going to the gym and doing a lot of cardio and then doing like butt exercises, but you need to be eating in a calorie surplus in order to grow muscles, okay? Okay. Well, personally, I have three lower body days, three upper body days a week, but it's really up to you. Um, you can start with just one lower body, one upper body, and then and then increase it to two lower body, two upper body. Um, you definitely don't need to do six days a week. So I'm going to start a beginner's lower body workout at the end of this video. And this is a strength building workout, so you can increase the weight every one to two weeks, and it's going to keep your body guessing, it's going to keep building strength in your lower body. I'm going to do an upper body one next week and hopefully it'll help you guys out for beginners in the gym just to like have an idea of what you do when you go in there because it can be really like daunting going into a gym and not knowing what to do. So if you have this written down or memorize it at least you know what to do when you go in there. Um, I'd start off with a lower weight. I have used low weights for me in this video but I would start like maybe a little bit lower again if you're if it's like one of your first times going into a gym to build muscle I'd also in, like avoid cardio maybe incorporate hit one to two times a week but that's it hit is basically about a 10 minute workout 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 30 seconds on 30 seconds off you can do jumping lunges then squats like jump squats or you can do like sprints 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for 10 minutes and this is going to increase your heart rate then drop it back down increase it then drop it back down and this is just going to get your heart rate up and this is going to help you burn energy and you'll also keep burning energy after the workout which you don't do when you're doing like red regular low intensity steady state cardio I recommend doing the hit workouts one to two times a week and this is just going to help keep your body fat percentage down and then I would also recommend training abs like two to three times a week. And this is going to increase the muscles on your abs, if you get me, and tighten them up. But it's not going to slim down your waist. You're working your muscles, so 
this is going to push your abs forward and then you're just going to have abs underneath. So some of my favorite ab workouts is bicycle, is bicycle crunches, leg raises with a barbell. So that's basically leg raises on the ground but you're holding a barbell. Just start with doing it with body weight or else you can get ankle ankle weights and put them onto your legs and this is going to make it harder to do because the weight is at the end of your leg so it's harder to lift it up. My favourite ab exercise of all time is cable choppers, I think they're called. So it's basically on the cable machine and then you put it at like a low enough setting, I think. Yeah. And you like hold thingy and you just go like this and then yeah, just I'll make a video. I would recommend training them just so when you lose body fat percentage you're going to have more visible abs sooner but it, that's not how you're going to slim down your waist. Hey guys so this is a lower body workout that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, on this day I just kind of dropped the weight and I find it a really great workout for beginners in the gym or people who want to build strength. The movements you can just kind of up the weight each week and build strength from there. I find it really good. I did this when I first started out. So first I take like three or four dumbbells and I do four sets of 12 and I increase the weight each time. So I went from, let's just say, like obviously the weights that I use, you might use less or more, I don't know. But I use 15, then 20, then 25. Then I just went on to do four sets on the leg press. So I just want to share with you what I do on the leg extension machine that I find really great and like you really get a good burn. So I do 4 sets of 12, then I do a drop set. So first I do 30 on the first plate, 15 on the second plate and then 10 on the third plate and then I drop it, take a minute rest and drop it back down. Do 10 on third plate, 15 on the second plate, and then 30 on one plate. And oh my god, it burns so much. And then I take a rest, and I normally do this again. straight like deadlifts on a really like lightweight I just wanted to kind of mess around with them because I'm not actually that good at these so yeah I just did that there I did 4 sets of 12 <laughs> then I just did these and fell over a couple of times because they're really hard to do and haven't done them in ages um, I don't really know what they're called some hip thrusts with like a lower weight and a lot higher reps um, just to get a good burn but these, this is the best butt exercise ever like I know there's a thing going around about squats like squats don't even like work your butt that much these do these are just amazing they are the holy grail of butt exercises but sorry for the TMI but like yeah just just do these off with some donkey kicks on the hamstring machine I find these really effective and then I did some calf raises Thank <laughs> you. 